What's up, y'all? Fresco BK live here at Stadium Goods. So Stadium Guides is where we take you from amateur to expert on various categories that make up Stadium Goods. So today's Stadium Guides is all about the Air Max. So we take you through the full lineage of Air Max from 87 all the way to 2020. So say less with all this talking. Yo, let's get to this Air. Back in 1977, aerospace engineer Marilyn Franklin Rudy had this crazy idea to put mini airbags in the midsoles of shoes to soften the impact for athletes. He pitched this idea to 23 companies, but it wasn't until he found Nike co-founder Phil Knight who tried out the technology, and that brought Nike a breath of fresh air. The first shoe to utilize this technology was a Nike Tailwind back in 1978, but the air technology that was used in this shoe was completely not visible. Fast forward to 1987 where the legendary Tinker Hatfield produced the first shoe that featured exposed air in the midsole area. So the Nike Air Max 1 is the first shoe to kick off the complete Air Max series. So when it comes to Air Max, whether it's retro, collab, or even OG, the colors, collaborations, and stories are identifiable immediately once you see each silhouette. But we have to start with the OGs because the OGs kicked everything off. So here we start, of course, in 1987 with the Air Max 1. So the anniversary colorways, there are two anniversary colorways. There's the white red with the gray detailing, and then there's the white royal with also the same gray detailing. And in regards to sizing on the Air Max 1, Air Max 1, I would say if you have a wider foot, you might want to go up in size. But if you have a narrow foot, you can probably stay true to size. But for me, who has a wider foot, I would definitely suggest you go like a half size up in the Air Max 1. And we transition next to the Air Max 90, another one of my favorites of all time. The infrared colorway in the Air Max 90 is the true original OG. So you'll see the infrared detailing and hits throughout the entire shoe. Once again, the mesh in the toe box area that mirrors the mesh in the toe box area of the Air Max 1. And fun fact about both of these silhouettes, both the 1 and the 90 are designed by, of course, my man Tinker Hatfield. So you'll see the Nike Air right there in the back, the Nike Air right there on the tongue. I would say that these are actually true to size, so you can stay uh, normal sizing with these. We transition next into one of the ever so classic, if not the most classic in many people's eyes, the Air Max 95. So the Air Max 95 is designed by my man Sergio Lozano. So if you see the gradient color shift, throughout the detailing in the grays right there on the outer panel. We have the black midsole. We have the new buck suede and the mesh right there in the toe area. And the best detail, or one of the coolest details, of course, about the whole classic OG Air Max 95 is the neon color pop that runs throughout the entire shoe. But the Air Max 95 is also the first shoe to feature not only air in the heel, but also air in the forefoot. And in regards to sizing, it's really a toss up with this one. You, it's, it's hard to tell. Either they run a little bit small or they're true to size. It just depends on your foot. But if you're picking up a pair of Air Max 95s, make sure you try these on. Transition over to the Air Max 97. So this shoe within the last few years has been flipped, spun, retroed in so many different stories and colorways. But the original colorway is the Silver Bullet Air Max 97 designed by my man Christian Tresser. So, Synthetic uh, materials that run throughout this entire upper. We've got mesh here, we've got the rope lacing, we've got the 3M piping that runs throughout the entire shoe. So you'll see the 3M as you spin throughout the entire shoe. And of course, the back pull tab. So this is the first Air Max to feature this pull tab right here. We have the full Max Air unit. So unlike the 95, the 90, or the Air Max 1, the 97 is the first Air Max to feature the full Max Air throughout the midsole area. Sizing in regards to Air Max 97s, size up. Size up. If you're a 9.5, go 10. If you're a 12 like me, I had to go 12.5. So I would definitely suggest, because of the narrow toe box that's right there in the front, you should definitely size up in the Air Max 97. But another one that just looks good with everything. 98 was a special year because it featured two of the most classic Air Max being the Air Max 98 and of course the Air Max Plus tuned air. You'll see that it's inspired by like palm trees and waves. You'll see the wave detailing running throughout the entire shoe. Also the gradient color shift and the red swoosh right there. We have the plastic toe cap 
and then the 3M detailing right there. And as we get to the outsole, so the midsole outsole on this one is special because the tune there features these pillars right here. And these pillars are supposed to be more supportive in regards to supporting the Air Max unit that you see here on the midsole area. And just so we know, the Tuned Air uh, Air Max Plus is designed by my man, Sean McDowell. And we transition now into the Air Max 98, which is designed by Sergio Lozano. So this is the classic colorway, the Gundam colorway. So you'll see the not only royal, but navy and red and white detailing throughout this entire shoe. And if you look closely in comparison to the Air Max 98, the full Max unit that runs throughout the entire midsole outsole. So you'll see the navy blue detailing right there in the toe area. Of course, the royal that runs throughout the entire upper. So in regards to sizing, whether it's the Air Max Plus or the Air Max 98, I would say you should definitely try on the Air Max 98 because once again, that narrow toe box area. So uh, either you size up or maybe stay true to size, half size up or stay true to size. And in regards to the Air Max Plus, these are fairly true to size. So if you're a 12, like I said, stick to a 12. Um, but all across the Air Max category, I suggest if you're purchasing anything, of course, some stadium goods, you try all of these on before you pick them up. So we'll see right here in this wide shot that the Air Max lives forever. And of course, we started off in 87 with the Air Max 1. That was followed up by the Air Max 90. And that was followed up by the Air Max 180 that came in 1991. Of course, classic silhouette. That was followed up by the Air Max 93. So the Air Max 93 is the first Air Max to feature the 270 degree air unit in the midsole area. The Air Max 2 in 1994 featured multiple chambers with different air densities that you'll see right there in that air unit. And the, of course, the Air Max 2 on the tongue. And as we fast forward to 2017, we've got the Nike Air Vapor Max. So this one is straight up foot to air with no midsole. So you'll see the full fly net throughout the upper and we have the most air ever right throughout the entire outsole. So you'll see no midsole. This one is straight up air throughout the outsole. And then that transitions, of course, into the hybrid. So this hybrid right here is the Vapor Max Plus, which features the tuned air combined with, of course, the Vapor Max. So you'll see the entire tuned air Air Max Plus upper, and of course, with the Vapor Max outsole. So this one, once again, is almost foot to air, but you'll see this slight midsole unit right there in the middle. Transition now into the Air Max 270, which features this large full air unit in the heel area. The inspiration behind the Air Max 270 in regards to design, and you'll see the similarities right there in both silhouettes. As we've gone through the full lineage of the Air Max, we capped this one out with the Air Max 720, which is one of the more recent releases from the Air Max category. And this one, Kind of captures uh, inspiration from various Air Maxes that we've seen through over time. But to me, it actually looks a lot like the Air Max 97. So has the outsole here, if you take a close look, kind of similar detailing, but this one features the full 720 air unit. Collabs, collabs, collabs. Collabs have been seen throughout the Air Max category in multiple silhouettes. So we kick that off with, of course, the Atmos Air Max 1 with the elephant print. The Viotech Air Max 1, if you guys have been paying attention to Viotech, you'll remember the Viotech Dunks that just recently released, but this is the Viotech Air Max 1. Another one, a classic from Atmos, and I personally have this pair. This is the Duck Camo Atmos Air Max 90. We got my man Dave Ortiz, shouts out to Big Poppy, but I'm talking about Dave Ortiz from Dave's Quality Meat with the uh, bacon Air Max 90, kind of making me hungry. We have the undefeated Air Max 97, so undefeated has done multiple Air Max 97s, but of course this is the like olive army green colorway, which is also very classic. And then close that out with my man Sean Witherspoon and Nike. So this is a hybrid that combines not only the Air Max 97, but also the Air Max One. So completely vegan and one of the most hyped shoes that has been released within the last five years. We've taken you through the full ride of the classic, classic, ever so classic Air Max category that features multiple shoes and some of your favorites of all time. But let me know in the comments which Air Max are your favorites. And that's not just running. 
That's also basketball or any Nike category that carries the Air Max. But thank you guys for liking and sharing all of our videos on Facebook, YouTube, and now, of course, Instagram TV. Make sure you guys download the Stadium Goods app. It's available on iOS and on Android. Make sure you guys follow us on all social media platforms at Stadium Goods. And last but not least, if you have any questions regarding Air Max or anything Stadium Goods, visit StadiumGoods.com. I am Fresco BK and...